Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 9th of August 2025. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying your weekend. Here we have a weekend of Sudoku uh, next weekend, yes, but during the week, Monday to Friday, I won't be playing games of Sudoku. So please, those people who are clicking on the old games, maybe click on your birthday of previous year, something like that. Uh, thank you for doing that and uh, keeping the channel alive during the week when, because it does rely on constant uh, daily puzzles unfortunately it's not one of those channels where you can put up a video and it, it gets views for years to come these uh, videos basically stop getting views uh, two days after they're done they're very ephemeral so that's a big thanks for that uh, what's going on um, world leaders when they get into trouble need a war war is always very useful remember Thatcher and the Falklands and uh, George Bush and his war against terror, which was a kind of oh, <laughs> a nondescript uh, war. But I mean, uh, politicians um, do love a war to take everybody's mind off of things. Uh, Donald Trump is apparently having trouble with a few of his uh, lunatic uh, cult following and would like to uh, get them on board. So what better way might there be than a war with Mexico? Remember, the uh, they're all rapists, according to Trump, who is, in fact, a convicted uh, sex offender. Uh, <laughs> uh, or convicted, uh, uh, convicted of... Um, um, Defamation. Sorry, I forgot the word there for a minute. <laughs> Convicted of defamation, proving that he had sexually assaulted E. Jean Carroll. There we are. Just the word just came back to me. Weird that when you get old, words kind of disappear for a while. Um, right. Uh, anyway, so possible war. Who would be better than Mexico? It's led by Claudia Scheinbaum, who is not a bimbo blonde who fawns over every word that Donald Trump says, which apparently is the you know. Every woman in Trump's orbit is a dyed blonde who just makes eyes at him. Uh, she is, in fact, uh, a former client's, uh, client change scientist. A scientist. Wow, that's kind of like the uh, that's anathema to Trump, isn't it? Anyway, uh, he's got the idea now. Apparently, according to uh, uh, various reporting that was began in the New York Times. Uh, that uh, the U.S. might take um, action against some of the uh, drug cartels in Mexico. I mean, just go in and do it. Uh, she, uh, Claudia Scheinbaum, has rejected that idea. But, of course, uh, the U.S. certainly has a history of interfering in South American and Central and South American countries uh, over many decades. Generally, though, it's done it in, on the QT. It's been like, let's go in with the CIA and do a few, uh, let's cause a, a, a revolution here or there or a coup here or there something like that not a kind of direct action like this except oh, i remember of course nicaragua there was there's an exception but you know they uh, um uh trump would definitely you know get a few people to rally around him those those cultists who are wavering at the moment that will probably draw them back a bit of action against brown people you know murder a few brown people will be good and of course uh um, probably uh, wouldn't cause uh, too much pushback from pathetic leaders across the world who would just make a few whimpering noises but not take any action. So let's hope it doesn't happen. Let's hope they allow Mexico to control their own country, um, cartels and all, which of course are a problem, but you know not uh, something that the U.S. should be uh, attacking as though it's a, a foreign power. Shall we get a foreign enemy? Shall we get on with our game of Sudoku then? So this is the New York Times hard level puzzle. Uh, I've got work to do actually in a minute, so I should be getting on with this quite quickly. I think I found a triple. Wow, the first thing I see is a triple. 274 across there. That's going to put 274 into those squares. Sevens there. Fours there. Twos anywhere. Okay, but we've got 274, so what don't we have? Uh, we don't have... One, three, nine, I think. <clears throat> so now we've got three blocking across there, across there, and up there. That will give me a three in that square there. We've got one blocking across here, one blocking across there. That's going to give me a one in that square there. And the nine blocking across here and nine blocking across there. That was very fruitful, wasn't it? That was a lovely little triple. Glad I found that as the first thing. <clears throat> 
might save a bit of time later you never know can't be sure though but still all right what has that left us with six blocking up here down there that gives us six in that square there <coughs> Eight blocks across here, there's the eight. We'll be left with two and five in those squares there. Uh, so two blocking across there and two blocking across there. That's the two. <coughs> Over here we have, what do we have? Four. Oh, four. Okay, so four blocking down there. That's the four. What's the other number? I can't find the other number. Oh, eight. Okay, <clears throat> and this is going to be 5, 6. Seems to be in order. Well, that was a nice little triple. And I often miss those on the New York Times. I know a lot of you can get them easy, much easy, much more easily than I can. Uh, all right, so I think we'll just go around in order, see, if it, see what we come up with. haven't really properly looked at the grid yet because when you get some quickies at the beginning you tend not to have a chance to study the grid more thoroughly Ah, oh, four across there, four down there. Somehow I missed that one. There's another easy one to be had. So we can get this, can't we? So what was this, two, five? What's this, seven, is it? So five is somewhere there. This is a point of note. Should I go once more, maybe? Five seven. Five seven in this column, five seven in this column, blocking up there, that's a pair of five and seven. Oh good. What does it mean? I don't know, but we don't have five or seven down here. Shall we just check this? We're looking for uh one three six eight, I think. One three six eight. Six eight blocking there. Could be a one or a three. Three six, that's a one eight. Ah, actually, so this is 5 and 7, so it's not 6, right? We've got 6 blocking that square, 6 blocking that square, 6 blocking that square, so that's a 6 there. Uh, back again, 5, 7, so uh, 1, 3, 8, and the 8s must be down here. One, three, I'm not sure yet. 
Anything else up here? We got the five seven. Do we know anything else? Of course, we know the eights are in those squares. Uh, ah, six blocking up there. Six across there. So that's a six then. Six across this way, and that way, and six up there means that's a six. Six blocking down there. That's a six. The last number to go there is a five. Okay, uh, this is, f oh no, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, forget that, forget that, forget that. <laughs> I know I didn't say anything, but I was going to, and it was not going to be correct, so I stopped myself in time, that's good. Five blocking down here, five across there and there. That will give me a five in that square. Six is a completed number, by the way. Aha, seven blocking down here and across there. Put seven into one of these two squares, blocking back. Seven down there. That must be our seven. And now seven blocking there, 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 and there. Come on. All in the top row, so that will be our seven there. Seven to the bottom, down here, down there, across there. There's a seven. We have five blocking this square, five blocking this square, this one and this one in the top row. There's our five, then five blocking down, that will give me a five here and the missing digit there is two. I think we're looking for 138 in this column and 1 and 3 are in the same row so that will be our 8 then. And 3 blocks this square so that is the 3 in the column and this is the 1.
three blocking across here, across there. There's the three. Three blocking. Ooh, that's not right, is it? Three blocking straight down there, not in a diagonal fashion. Give me three in that square there. Uh, so what do we know about twos? They're in those squares, those squares, those squares, there. Interesting. Three, the remaining threes are there. Sevens are there. Okay, eight blocks across here. So eight is in one of those two squares blocking this way. Eight across there, eight up there. That must be our eight. Uh, now, have we got a pair down here? Oh, no, I thought we did. I mean, we've got a pair of eights. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. Eight blocking this square, eight blocking this square, eight blocking this square. So in that row, there's our eight. Then we go eight up here, up here, across there. Front eight there. Five and nine block there. That's going to put five and nine into those squares in this block and leave me with a two there. Two blocking across here, up there. There's a two in that square there. Uh, last number to get there is a one. Still six is our only completed digit at the moment. Two to the bottom like that will give me two in that square and then we can fill in here with the nine and the five to go there. Five across, five up there, there's the five. One across there, there's a one missing number there, seven. Seven across there and seven up there, there's a seven. Uh, last number to place here is what? No, it's not a two. Is it a four? I think it is four. Okay, four blocking down there. That gives me the four there. Four across, down and down. We'll finish off the fours, I think. Four across there, four down there should be the last one. Okay, four, five, six, seven are done. Great stuff. Not much more to go now then. What's the missing number here? It's a one. I answer my own question. One across there, one across there. There's our one. One up there, one down there. Should be the last digit. One, it is. We still need two. Can we get it? Yes, we've got two. No, we can't. Two across there. Uh, two that way, sorry. Two across there, two down there. We can get the two. Uh, two up there. There's a two. And the last number to place there is 9, I think. Uh, we also have 9 blocking across there, so that will be a 9. And there's not much more to go. The only numbers left are 3, 8, and 9. So I see 3, 8 there, so that's got to be a 9. And I see 3, 9 there, so that's an 8. I see 8 blocking down there. There's the 8 and 9 there, so that's a 3, 3 blocking up there, there's a 3, the last number to go there is a 9, thank you for joining me for today's uh, New York Times hard level Sudoku puzzle, and uh, I'll see you around, take care, bye bye.